that warrants why we need security. And it's sad, because people got to understand, I am a single um, black parent with a daughter, four-year-old, that go in and out of my house. You got people pulling up, taking pictures. You even got that trustee, that Kiana Belcher, came to my house, took pictures of my house, and then spread it out, gave it to everybody, causing me and my family to be in much danger. And these are the things we report it, we talk about, we tell people. It's just a vindictive against me, and I don't, I don't appreciate it at all. I just don't. Tiffany Henyard has just snitched on her former assistant from jail after she was starting to get exposed for her misuse of public funds. She set up a charity, supposedly, to help cancer patients. But instead, she used taxpayer money to fund her own little glam show. We are walking all over cancer on our way to Springfield. Make sure you support the cause, support the movement. A South Suburban politician spends taxpayer dollars on a march to Springfield to promote her personal charity. But when we started asking questions, the party's over. Fox 32 and the Illinois Answers Project, part of the Better Government Association, are investigating the charitable foundation of Tiffany Hen Henyard, who is on two public payrolls as Dalton Mayor and Thornship Township Supervisor. What we found is raising serious questions about the use of taxpayers' dollars, employees, and equipment. Fox 32's Dane Placco investigates where all that money is going. Nobody knows something. Don't know, nobody know nothing. Tiffany Henyard certainly isn't shy about attracting attention. Here she is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. Later punctuating her political points with the help of her own DJ. Every single resident, <laughs> pay me what you owe me. Thank you, DJ. Henyard's picture and name adorn virtually every public posting, both from Dalton, where as mayor she makes $46,000 a year, and in Thornton Township, where as the elected supervisor, she collects more than $200,000 a year. But for all that money, Henyard's tenure at both has been chaotic, with firings, scandals, and a legal battle with the Dalton trustees over spending. Hey, hey, hey. So last fall, Henyard did something that would seemingly generate some good publicity, helping establish the Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation to help breast cancer patients. And on the very day the charity was chartered, it received a huge donation, $10,000 from the Thornton Township Board. Now, there had been whispers about her sketchy behavior for a while, and Tiffany was doing her best to deny them. But then her assistant came forward with some shocking receipts, and it's been a mess ever since. At a Thornton Township Board meeting, Tiffany was confronted by none other than her former assistant, trustee Carmen Carlisle. Well, Carmen didn't hold back during the meeting, raising all sorts of questions about Tiffany's spending habits. WGN Investigates has learned South Suburban politician Tiffany Henyard has lost another key ally. Until recently, Henyard enjoyed near unanimous support on the Thornton Township Board, but now trustee Carmen Carlisle says after trusting Henyard and remaining silent, she will be a whistleblower against Henyard. Carlisle released a statement to WGN that reads in part, For the past two years, Henyard has manipulated employees, vendors, and residents using her position to increase her influence, all while projecting a false image of success funded by the hardworking taxpayers of Thornton Township and the village of Dalton. Henyard shows no accountability or conscience for her actions against employees or taxpayers. Henyard has denied wrongdoing and claims her opponents are out for what she calls clickbait. Tomorrow at 9, tune in for exclusive new reporting on Henyard's spending that she tried to keep secret. Carmen started working for Tiffany in May 2023. And at first, she turned a blind eye to all the extravagant trips and luxuries the mayor charged to the taxpayers. But as she got to know the real Tiffany, Carmen couldn't sit back any longer. So during the special meeting, she let Tiffany have it. Tiffany tried to brush it all off, calling the whole thing clickbait but Carmen was not backing down. Good evening, everybody. Um, thank you for coming out. Thornton Township called a special meeting. Supervisor Tiffany Henyard called it clickbait. But it saddens my heart that you are up here at this special meeting and not downstairs uh, where we have big bingo. She wanted media instead cover an event downstairs. I'm advising you to uh, make a U-turn and go downstairs because you come for clickbait. The meeting happened hours after the state comptroller suspended funds to South Suburban Dalton, where Henyard is also mayor. She's being accused of mismanaging taxpayer funds there. It took no time for the township meeting to turn combative. So why aren't you paying the staff? 
I don't see the staff on here. I think that's a very important bill to pay. So do y'all want to amend that and add the staff bills? Because I don't, I don't see them in none of these bills. List. And then we don't never do agenda like this. So all this fluff you selling to the public is crap. Trustees listed several agenda items, like approving the payments of several vendor bills, ordinances to establish travel guidelines, regulate budget approvals, and establish a credit card purchase policy. I'm just tired of coming here and it has to be a show. Henyard questioned multiple times why a special meeting was called when the township was already set to meet next week. Sometimes we get invoices, but those invoices lead to more questions, and sometimes we don't get questions, um, answers to those questions. And so it's not about clickbait, it's about just making sure the right thing is being done. Trustees say it was due to breakdowns in communication between trustees and administration. I trusted the administration. I trusted the process. And the moment I didn't trust the process, I started asking questions. During the meeting, some residents praised Henyard. And it saddens me that everybody want to crucify you. It's like everybody got horns. This lady is so wonderful. I don't see her doing anything wrong. While others shared their concerns. Our town, which is part of Thornton Township, has been devastated and decimated by the current administ administration. All you have to do is look at the patterns. In a separate statement to the press, Carmen exposed even more of Tiffany's corrupt actions. She accused Tiffany of manipulating employees, vendors, and residents, all while putting up a fake image of success funded by hardworking taxpayers. Carmen went on to propose new rules to cut down on Tiffany's out-of-control spending, standing up for everyone who had been affected by what she called Tiffany's abusive leadership. According to Carmen, there are plenty of others who've been fired, lied to, or retaliated against by the mayor, but haven't spoken up yet. Everybody wants it to continue to be a show and not really show facts as it relates to what's really going on in our township. And here we go, another contentious night for Tiffany Henyard at the annual Thornton Township meeting. Henyard is township supervisor, but tonight she was challenged by board members and the public. She was booed loudly at several points during tonight's meeting. Henyard said it's not fair for residents to ask so many questions in the township when she says they don't ask them in other communities. And just when you think it couldn't get worse, Carmen dropped another bomb. Tiffany's cancer charity was a sham. Back in 2022, Tiffany announced her foundation to help cancer patients. But turns out, it was all for show. And what did she do with that money? Oh, she used it to fund a week-long bike ride to Springfield that cost taxpayers But wait, there's more. Tiffany allegedly tried to rope Carmen into covering up her shady dealings, even showing up at Carmen's house unannounced. When Carmen refused, things got heated. According to reports, Tiffany even approved a $177,000 payment for thousands of hoodies and t-shirts, right after she set up her bogus foundation. And let's not forget, she got her boyfriend, Kamal Woods, involved too, giving him a cushy spot on the foundation board. There's talk that Tiffany is under investigation by the FBI for public fraud. It seems like helping cancer patients was the last thing on Tiffany Henyard's mind when she started that foundation. For the trip, the township paid $17,000 for specially printed hoodies and t-shirts, but won't say what they're for. I think that everything she has initiated has been something to promote her something to get her name in household, something to get people to buy into voting for her. Our investigation found at least $11,000 in public funds spent on that trip. But both Dalton and Thornton Township have been slow or unresponsive to open records requests. So what was the purpose of the 10-day march to Springfield? I have created a bill uh, which we're going to speak before the Revenue Committee to give everybody $5,000 on an income tax when they file if you are suffering from cancer. 
A noble goal, except the Revenue Committee wasn't meeting when the group arrived in Springfield. Henyer did later testify at a committee hearing in Chicago, but so far nothing has come of her bill. I think I'm doing a damn good job on the So we went to a recent Thornton Township board meeting to ask Henyard some questions about all that spending. I've never ever been um, bitter to the news. Max, this is my olive branch to the media. Can you guys reach out to us and ask us our opinion before you post it? I really appreciate it. It's obvious she only did it to line her pockets and her boyfriend's too. As things started heating up, authorities stepped in. The charity was already on their radar for failing to register with the Attorney General's office or explain where the money was going. Now, WGN Investigates has an update on the shady cancer charity that's under investigation by the Illinois Attorney General. The South suburban politician tied to the charity She's now denying any direct involvement with the foundation that bears her name. You are being framed. Uh, you are being um, called crazy, deranged, uh, saying that you are uh, stealing funds. Um, you also, uh, you have a charity that, um, uh, from the Attorney General's office, is, uh, I understand they sent a cease and desist letter to your foundation? I don't know nothing about that. Um, I'm not crazy. I'm not You have a, a Tiffany Henry Cares, your foundation. I, so the Attorney General's office hasn't reached out to you regarding your, founda your foundation? So I want to set the record straight. I don't have a foundation. I am a supporter of anybody that's struggling with cancer. My mom had breast cancer, and I'm always push anybody that has that. If someone uses my name to push their charity, or if you say, this is Tiffany T-shirt, people gonna buy it. Because right now, I'm considered what? Clickbait. People make money off of my name by views. So you just so take say, my you name. Don't have a, you say you, say you don't have a I foundation. I don't. I do not. And that's okay. why I tell everybody, go do your research. I'm not on anything. So, so, when we see all of this back and forth, when we see this is going back and forth, have you, um, and I've seen this happen before with school districts, um, I've seen this happen before with city councils, mm -hmm. uh, have you called in the state to come mediate? Did I call in the state? Have you called, have you, have you reached out to the state to come in and mediate what's going on here? Pasquale Esposito, the deputy bureau chief of the Charitable Trust Bureau, mentioned that the office had been trying to get in touch with the charity sending emails and letters asking for answers. Tiffany's team? They never responded. So the Illinois Attorney General's office had no choice but to ban the nonprofit from raising money in February 2024. And get this, the charity's latest paperwork didn't even include basic information. It has attracted the attention of the Illinois Attorney General after failing to file financial documents. We've reported on Tiffany Henyard before. She holds two elected positions, Dalton Mayor and Thornton Township Supervisor. She also prides herself on raising money for cancer patients. But as investigative reporter Ben Bradley reports, she's now facing penalties for not reporting how she spent the money. Tiffany Henyard collected $287,000 back in 2022 from her two elected positions. That's the same year she founded a charity in her name a charity that has received considerable tax dollars but hasn't filed basic records with the Illinois Attorney General or the IRS that would show how cancer patients have actually benefited. I want people to know that I'm caring. Tiffany Henyard told me in November she cares. Apparently so much so, it's also the name of her charity. Check it out. The Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation posts videos highlighting walks and other events that prominently feature the politician proudly promoting her cancer charity. I just want people to know that, hey, Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation is here. We will help anybody in need. She certainly may help some, but Henyard's charity has failed to file required financial statements showing income and expenses. WGN Investigates obtained this letter from December in which the Illinois Attorney General threatened civil penalties are imposed against persons who do not register with this office as required. But there's no foundation in the state of Illinois moving like we move and shaking like we go right That's right. right. Henyard mixes her two taxpayer-funded jobs and charity work. That's Keith Freeman sitting next to her at a Dalton meeting where he's the village administrator. Freeman is also an advisor to Thornton Township, and he's the guy listed as the registered agent of Tiffany Henyard's foundation. It makes you wonder, did Tiffany think the attorney general's office wouldn't notice incomplete paperwork? But things took an interesting turn 
when Chicago businessman Victor Osaki, hired as the nonprofit's registered agent, spoke out. He claimed this wasn't what he signed up for. State records show he wasn't just working for the nonprofit. He also filed business registrations for a clothing store and restaurant owned by Tiffany's boyfriend. So, what's the real deal between Tiffany and Victor? There's also plenty of evidence pointing to her questionable spending. They said uh, Mayor Tiffany Henyard is one of the most corrupt ever. She actually hired a child offender, overpays her police officers, she does. She overpays her police officers um, to be her security, which what do you need that much security for? You're a mayor of a town with about 20,000 people. One of the officers was paid $13,000 in two weeks for 300 hours of overtime because nobody believes that. Nobody believes that anybody worked 300 hours of overtime. So some, this has to be investigated because it looks like these numbers were being padded. So the chief of police or the ex-chief of police had his attorney investigate these claims and they're stating, they're standing behind them that there were uh, allegations of corruption and he was investigating them. Reports show she racked up $67,000 in village expenses on trips to Portland, Austin, Atlanta, and New York in just five months. Lightfoot's investigation also revealed that Tiffany had been using the village's credit card for personal shopping sprees at Target, Walgreens, and Wayfair. Oh, and she spent $35,000 on Amazon in one day, January 5th, 2023, to be exact. Two officers racked up in overtime, nearly doubling their salaries. One officer made $108,000, then $114,000 in overtime alone. I've never seen police be paid that amount of money under no circumstances. And Deputy Chief Lewis Lacey, who was fired this week, also made a killing in overtime. Check out how much he was paid in overtime since 2022. Last fiscal year, the village paid him $96,000 in addition to his salary. We've been trying to get these records for the past two years. Now we have some idea, well, we have a big idea. Lightfoot in her investigation also uncovers spending that just doesn't add up when it comes to municipal spending. The report shows there's $40,000 unaccounted for spent on Amazon purchases in a single day. But the real kicker? The FBI is now involved. They served Tiffany with a subpoena at Thornton Township Hall, looking into charities bearing her name, her restaurant, her property management company, and her political fund. If Tiffany's hoping to dodge responsibility by denying involvement in the foundation, she's going to need a better plan. But what we do know is that the FBI here in Chicago is looking at the actions of this small South Suburban mayor who has lived a large life on the taxpayer expense. Absolutely. Now, in spite of these accusations, this investigation, Henyard, we know, remains in her multiple positions because she's more than, you know, just the mayor. She yeah. has other roles. Do we know if it's affecting her day-to-day -day duties? Well, I can tell you that not only is she still in office in the two positions she holds, one is the mayor of a small south suburb, the other is a township supervisor, but her top aide in both municipalities, a guy by the name of Keith Freeman, was indicted for bankruptcy fraud for allegedly lying about his income from Dalton. He got indicted a few weeks ago, and he's still on the job, still sitting next to her in board meetings, still advising her. The theory, of course, is the FBI, as the FBI has been known to do, likes to work up the food chain, and perhaps they're using this bankruptcy fraud charge against her top aid is a means to squeeze him and potentially get him to cooperate. You know, and Ben, uh, the mayor, Mayor Hinyard, uh, has been very vocal in pushing mm -hmm. back against all these accusations. What happens next at this point? Well, for nearly a year, Nicole, as you know, uh, the mayor has called our reporting fake news, but there's nothing fake news or fake uh, about the fact that FBI subpoenas name her, they name her top aide, they name her boyfriend, they name her cancer charity, they name her political fund, they name her defunct burger business. So that tells you just how wide ranging the FBI investigation is. We don't know if it's gonna result in charges, but I did talk to a former FBI special agent who reviewed the subpoenas. And she said, if I'm Tiffany Henyard, I'm very nervous right about now. Back when the allegations first surfaced, Tiffany sat down for an interview on the Roland Martin webcast, claiming she knew nothing about the charity. I don't have a foundation, she said. 
adding that people were just using her name for attention. I only go out the people that can influence people's minds. And right now I have the youth. I got everybody that loves Tiffany Hendry because I've been doing it since day one, since I was a trustee, where I did two terms, two terms. And I came out of every election victorious, every election. So now, because they can't beat me, they gotta do this smear campaign to convince public opinion that I'm bad for them. So you say two elections, you were first elected in 2021? No, 2013 was my first election for trustee. I was a trustee, I sat where they are. Right. That's uh, why uh, I know uh, the law. Council. Yes. Elected mayor 2021. Yes. Term is four years? Yes. Okay, uh, plans to run for re-election? I'm running for both my seats. And yeah. I'm gonna win them. So, and when is the election for Thornton Town? 2025. But here's the thing. She had proudly stated she was the face of the foundation just a year before. So, what changed? Let us know how you think this story will end in the comments below. Thanks for watching.